Good day, folks. Back out in the shop. Nice cold morning here. Got a say 2014 Ford Edge in the shop. It's got an advanced track uh, light on the dash and a whole bunch of other stuff. Let's uh, figure out what's going on with this one. All right, let's put our keys in here and look at the look at the CGI going on on this dashboard. There we go. Service advanced track and. Well, we can see all of this. Let's start it up and see what goes away. Okay. Uh, there we are. All right, so you can see your advanced track light came on within uh, 20 seconds of starting it. That attributes to your track control and your lane keeping. These guys and your ABS are all related to advanced track. Okay, if one wheel sensor's out, the whole system kind of shuts down. So I suspect that's probably what we're looking at. Uh, the airbag one, we're gonna have a look and see what that is. All right, so there's the four codes we got. The ABS is coming up with, as I figured, a front and right wheel speed sensor, APIM, uh, I don't know exactly what that is. External memory card. I'll have to look that one up. I'm, I've never seen that one before, but this has like entertainment stuff. So I don't know, maybe there's something plugged into it. Left side airbag sensor. So that'll be probably the one in the door here, the driver's door for the side airbag. I'll make sure of that one in a second. Just got to search up that code. And PCM steering wheel angle sensor. Okay, so steering wheel angle sensor is related to all the traction control stuff there. Uh, obviously, it's a traction control and lane keeping and all that. If if it's turned off, as you see, you're not going to get a signal from that. Most likely, there is a test that you can perform to test that, and you can read the angle if it's reading or not. Okay, so we got a few codes figured out. Uh, obviously, that ABS speed sensor is probably the root of all the problems but of course you can never assume because you know what that does to you and me right anyway i gotta get her up on the lift rip this front right wheel off have a look at the speed sensor and we'll probably be ordering some parts here <laughs> got a new toy for christmas we're going cordless here Well, it's a lot quieter than my air tool. I don't have to fire up the compressor just to take off a wheel. Ah, it'll do. Oh yeah, Ford's, I forgot how easy these were, these wheel speed sensors. Let me show you. Okay, so the Ford wheel speed sensors are very exposed. There it is right there. One 10 millimeter bolt? No, maybe an eight mil. That's an eight millimeter. And like always, happy juice. Now that's about as clean as a roller as you're gonna get up here in the rust belt. But I know these have been changed this summer, so they haven't been on there that long. I guarantee you by spring they won't be so pretty. Okay, little eight millimeter bolt. Now in a perfect world, you'd just be able to grab onto that and pull. I'm buying a lottery ticket today. Not only did I not have to smash the socket on any of the lug nuts because they were swelled up, the ABS wheel speed says it come right out like nothing. I'm gonna pull all these little plastic tabs out without breaking them, hopefully. All right, so the ABS wheel speed sensor goes up under the front fender, so you actually need to take the front inner fender out. Okay, so we got a plastic tab down here. And then I'm surprised they're not all plastic tabs. This one actually has tiny little, God, they look like five millimeter, three five millimeter bolts. 5.5 millimeter. What about that, eh? Well, 
Once you got the two screws from underneath here, you can pull this piece off. One more back here. Okay, so to get that wire to the plug, which is way up under here, you have to undo all this. You got seven little screws. All right, three are here, and the other four are down underneath. As well, you got five of these little plastic retainers. Two, three down here, four, and five is at the bottom here. So you got a bunch of these. They're mostly here and then one over here. Okay, so you're removing this little guy from down here as well. That's part of two of the screws hold that in. And then that allows you to pull your inner fender out of the way. All right. So all this plastic out of the way, there's your front right ABS plug, right underneath your washer jug thingy. All right, I just want to show you those four bolts from down here. There's one, two, three, and four. Those are the four you need to unscrew down here. You don't need to do this one. Okay, one more retainer in there you gotta fish out. And there's your wire. All right, ABS wheel sensors out. You can see how many clips you're dealing with. That's an enormous amount. To get the plug off, just a standard little push clip and it pops right out. Nothing to it. Not a bad day. It's zero inside the shop. That's not even worth putting a wood stove on for. I don't do that until it's like minus 10. Okay, so the new wheel sensor, nothing to that. Just goes back into the hole here. And we'll replace that bolt. And because of where I live and how many of these I've had to drill out, anti-seize for the win, folks. I swear, half the cars that I get in here, i got to drill those things out. Now someone's going to yell at me about, what's the torque spec? I only came here for the torque spec. Well, if you're worrying about torque spec on a plastic ABS sensor... You're far more meticulous than man than I am. Common sense, that's what the torque spec is. As I feed this back up through everything again, that doesn't have any awkward twists. Okay, so this plug wants that wire to go down, then you go up into here, then up into here, and these are preset, but you can slide them on most. I wouldn't bother unless they need to be slid. I'm just going to go under here. Come on now. There we go. And plug her in. Alright, so there's the wire routed back in exactly the same way it came back out. Got one more down in there and then the plug in behind I showed you earlier. And then we got our three little bolts up here. It's a long time since I've seen any manufacturer hold stuff like this on with bolts. Alright, now we just got five of these little push pins. All right, now we just gotta test it. So I just ran another code read without clearing codes. You can see the PCM code, so the angle for the sensor for the steering wheel has gone away. Our ABS code is still coming up. The memory module, memory card thing, uh, that's still there, and of course that one's our airbag. So. Usually what happens here is you need to clear these codes. Okay, so we're going to clear the memory here. Yep. So that'll get rid of that one. Okay, so I just went through and I selected all the uh, wheel speed sensors for a test. Okay, and you can see right now the volumes are zil nil. We're going to start the engine and just back it up forward a few times to see what we get. OK, 
Okay, so I'm only just going backwards and forwards here in the shop, so I'm not going very quick. When I did this test before, so after I did the initial code read, I did this test and front right came up as a zero. The other three were getting numbers. So now we're getting numbers on all of them. You'll notice advanced track and none of the lights are on this time. So that's all it took to get the uh, ABS working on this and the traction control and all the good stuff. Okay, so there's your ABS wheel speed sensor for a 2014 Ford Edge. Very easy, probably one of the easiest ones I've ever had to do because it's really exposed compared to a lot of them which stuff them way down deep in the steering knuckle and they rust in. Uh, you don't need a launch tool to figure this one out. You don't need a launch tool to figure this one out or a really good scan tool. Just the cheapy can tell you that there's a problem. They usually wear, uh, obviously look up the codes. This lets me do the testing and stuff, so I don't need to use a, a voltmeter and a resistance and all that stuff. This does all the work for you. It's built right into the uh, to the system to do a test. So now I know they're working. All the lights went out. ABS works. Advanced track works. Lane keeping, all that. The steering alignment thing. It all works. Just by changing one wheel sensor. Okay, so that's how one system. Uh, $20 part can shut down multiple systems and it doesn't mean your computer shot or you got to replace everything under the sun you Gotta have these things you can't you can't really do these things really well without something like this You can but it's hours of work versus minutes of work Okay, so the part for the airbag is, is not in uh, I can't find it locally anywhere So it's gonna be a day or two and we'll get this thing back in and I'll show you how to do the airbag sensor but for now hopefully that uh, that helps somebody out out there how to diagnose and change the wheel speed sensors and fix your advanced track if that is your problem, which is a, probably the number one cause of why advanced track stops working on these, is one of the four wheel speed sensors. Anyways, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.